Welcome back to a brand new episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And for a change, we're actually gonna bring you a nice little exploit and a magic trick that you can easily perform on all ARC servers, including the legitimate ones. This is, of course, my partner, Odix Bless. Uh, you please have to excuse him, he's currently deaf and blind and sometimes get easily disoriented so I would have to wave to him really really hard and yell for him to actually know when the trick has begun. Hopefully in the process he won't tumble and kill himself. Well, hopefully, you know, that always could bring me more views. Now, of course, on a more happier note, as you could see here, this box has no holes in the floor. The only hole that is located is at the corner where one can now climb up the ladder. Please note that my currently deaf, blind, and disoriented partner will manage to get all the way on top without moving a single bit. You will see this exploit and this bug in action and this magic trick on how one can go from the bottom all the way to the top floor without a need of a single ladder. All right, buddy, are you ready? Well, as you guys can see, deaf, blind, and completely disoriented. Hopefully he'll do the trick. Just to do a close inspection, as you can see here, the ceilings are solid. Even as an administrator with just flight, I am not able to go through them no matter how much I try. These are solid pieces of virtual floor, I guess. Alright, the only way of course I know how to communicate with my deaf, blind and slightly disoriented partner is of course using the chat. As I, of course, ask him to go. Unfortunately, having a partner that is blind does have its own complication. He was unable to locate the button. After we have straightened it out, we're going to try this one more time. I have directed him towards the button, and now all he has to do is lean towards it. As you can see here, he is traveling quite easily through all the ceilings in the house without a need of any kind of ladders. And voila, he is all the way on top. This is not a joke. This is not a trick. This is the reality of magic, ladies and gentlemen, in the world of art. And there he goes! My deaf and blind partner has managed to achieve phenomenal power of dimensional bending and able to move through solid matter at his will. I hope you all enjoyed this nice little trick. And of course, like all tricks, we are going to explain to you how they work. First of all, when you're placing an elevator, Please note that there are several ways you can place it. You could either, of course, have it snap automatically into the floor, which I highly don't recommend it. Or if you look slightly upwards, you could now have free placing. So as long as it's over foundation or a ceiling, which is, you know, technically it's floor, you will be able to put this into a, well, free mode su as such. But please be careful, if you're going to be starting from the bottom floor, you have to understand that snapping the elevator this way will not really work. Snapping the elevator, free snapping, but going all the way on top, where of course, you know, there's room for it this way, will not also work. Let me show you why. Oops, come back down, baby. Now, as you can see here, we're traveling up straight, straight through the ceilings. Like, well, they don't exist whatsoever. Once we're on top, you will notice a difference. This platform right here, right here, is laying perfectly right on top of the ceiling. This platform, this, this is the one that snaps on into the floor, the snap one. As you can see here, it creates a gap to a point where you're not able to even walk onto it. 
this is the one that you can place freely as you can see you place this down completely freely at the bottom but on top it ends up sticking out or if, if you don't put this it's slightly below the floor where it's unaccessible to your feet so what of course you need to do oh my deaf and blind partner has lost consciousness sorry buddy it's that time of the day and I forgot to give you meds what you of course need to do is you need to once you finished building your house you what you need to do is start from the very very top for example just so I'm, I, you could see I'm gonna demolish the ceiling right here you would of course come down one floor below where your ceiling ends because you can't place this in the air or anything you would of course position this perfectly you know you could just uh, position this then click K make sure that the back is even you know back forward of course this is not perfectly even, but for demonstration sake let's pretend it is and as you could see here the elevator would end up stopping right where the ceiling would end of course you don't need to remove the ceiling i did it so you guys can see what's going on you could easily put these elevator tracks even if your ceilings are there they go through them but for you to achieve having them not sticking out this way and not having them stick out so massively this way where you could literally practically hide stuff underneath them you have to well go one floor below and do it this way and then of course start attaching them downwards as you would look at the bottom one floor below this one you would see a tiny bit of rail sticking out which would allow you to continue attaching downwards this is of course my method if somebody discovered their own method or their own way of doing it i'm sure it's interesting please feel free to share with us but this is well my method that i have discovered this is of course could also be used to create something along the lines of sunroofs or roofs that open up you can make your roofs out of the elevators if you position them properly and then as you would land on the elevator click it your entire roof can come down all together which could look completely amazing but that is really up to you thank you all again for tuning in to another magic trick by me and dixie i hope you all enjoyed it dixie excuse me i think somebody needs to call 911 none of you have call you mother does anybody know CPR? Does anybody know CPR? I need to do CPR.